Pixel owners, it's your time to shine. Google's major Android software update, Android 10, began rolling out September 3rd to Pixel phones and will expand to other Android devices in the coming weeks and months. To see if the new OS is ready for your mobile device, go to Settings, System, System Update. If not, then try opting into the Android 10 public beta. It should immediately arrive after that. Once you're finally running Android 10, you'll notice it looks a lot like last year's release, Android 9 Pie, though there are some new features baked in. Here's five of them. The first is dark theme. Android 10 brings a true system-wide dark theme, which will darken your phone's entire interface to reduce strain on your eyes and save your battery life. To turn on dark theme, go to settings, display, and toggle on dark theme. It should also be in your phone's quick settings menu. Just swipe down from the top. The next feature is Bubbles. This is like Facebook Messenger's chat heads feature. Bubbles in Android 10 can display small, circular floating notification alerts on top of whatever you're doing on your Android device. You're able to approve each app that wants to use Bubbles to avoid overcrowding your screen. But Bubbles isn't really a user-facing feature in Android 10. It's a new notification option that developers can add to their apps. A messaging app, for instance, could serve up a bubble that you can then tap to view a conversation or reply without even launching the entire app. Third, we have Live Caption. Hearing impaired users will love Android 10's new Live Caption feature. It adds subtitles to any video being watched on the phone. You don't even need to have a data connection to use the feature. It's all done on the phone itself. Unfortunately, Live Caption is not quite ready yet. But Google said it'll be added to Android 10 sometime in the fall of 2019, starting with Pixel phones. Next, new gestures. The back button, a classic navigation feature in Android, has been ditched in Android 10. Alternatively, the update includes a full set of gestures so that Android users can move beyond buttons, virtual or otherwise. The bar at the bottom of the screen can be swiped across to switch between apps, for instance. So instead of the three icons at the bottom of your screen, you will now see a black strip with a white dash in the center. To get this experience, go to Settings, System, Gestures, Three Button Navigation. From the three choices, select Gesture Navigation. You can also click the Settings cog to the right and set the sensitivity of the screen when you backswipe. Finally, we have new digital well-being controls. Parents are now able to approve apps installed, set screen time limits, create app limits, and set a bedtime from within the digital well-being app. And a new feature called Focus Mode lets you go into your phone settings, select the apps you find most distracting, and pause all notifications from coming from those apps. To enable the Focus Mode specifically, make sure you're part of the Digital Wellbeing Beta program. If you don't see it in your Digital Wellbeing app, then sign up for the beta and go to Settings, digital well-being and parental controls, and ways to disconnect. You'll see three choices, dashboard for setting timers and specific apps, wind down, which dims and tins the screen and turns on do not disturb, and focus mode, which lets you instantly pause apps. You can also find focus mode in your phone's quick settings menu. For more about Android 10, including what else is new in the update, be sure you check out ZDNet.